Gino Pettis Adventures. I'm still Gino. And these are still my adventures. It hasn't been real adventurous lately, but, well, I guess it has. It's been up and down. So, I want to talk to you a little bit what's going on in Columbia. Talked to quite a few of my friends this week. And, um, I get some, getting some really good reports. So I get some scary reports and some good reports. So you just got to take it all with a grain of salt and, and don't believe everything I tell you. Check it out. Check it out yourself. I don't want to be called a liar. Sometimes, sometimes I'm not accurate, but most of the time I, I'm pretty accurate. So I have a new friend in Armenia, which is a uh, coffee country. And, uh, shout out to Bill. Thanks for calling. And he's, um, him and I are going to put a, a Zoom video on here in a few days on healthcare as he knows it. He's been here, he's been in the country 12 years. And, uh, he's, you know, he's an older guy, he's 77, so he's, you know, you break 70 and you spend most of your time at the doctors or talking about the doctor or what broke or what's getting ready to break. And uh, But at any rate, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, health care, uh, where it's good, where it's not. Health insurance, where it's good, where it's not. He's married to a nice lady that's a banker. And uh, so they, they get along pretty good in, in Armenia. <clears throat> And he tells me that prices in Armenia uh, on rental rental houses and properties are 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 holding their own despite uh, despite the political turmoil uh, that they're seeing. And it may not end up not being political turmoil. It may be end up being really good good for the country. Which uh, I mean, that's what we all look for. Well, I don't think anybody wants to see something get crazy just to get crazy everybody just wants to get loved on and live happily ever after most people I know anyway so I also got another buddy in in a uh, um, couple of buddies in San Diego that one one guy just got back and other guys uh, so I've got I've got some future videos coming up on some on real life stuff that's going on uh, in Colombia I'm sorry I can't be there to to record it to record the videos there for you because you know I'm still on hold here in the United States I've been here three weeks and it's about to make me crazier than I already was um, but so the report I'm getting from San Hill is that the rents are, are holding their own uh, anywhere from 300 to 800 thousand pesos um, if you just want a super, super, super nice place, you spend a million, million five, and uh, and you'll get the penthouse on the top floor of the whatever apartment building you want to stay at, or a nice farm with all of the above. So <clears throat> that being said, it looks for the moment that. People aren't freaking out as much about Petro as they did it from the get-go, and and you know who knows the guy you know the guy the guy cleaned up Bogota. Uh, maybe he'll clean up Colombia. Should be a good thing. And and the thing about it is that Colombia is still a democracy. He can't get he, he I, I'm not sure if it's a republic or a democracy or a re republic democracy. Uh, so he's not going to get too wound up and, and that'll be good gasoline prices are still hovering around 230 240 a gallon uh, and as long as he don't he doesn't take the uh, Biden stance that your Ukraine cratered the world uh, it'll it's liable to stay there because as you well know as I've said in many of my videos is that Colombia is a net producer of, of, of oil so they have a Excess of about 20% of their oil is, is, uh, is excess on, sold on the world market. So that gives them plenty of cash. And there's no need, no need to rock the, rock the gasoline world. And besides, if you did, it would turn out just like Panama. They'd be rioting in the streets. 
<clears throat> so hopefully that won't happen. I just see all this as good news. I see everybody calming down after the election. I see the 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 pesos bouncing around. It 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 goes up. It goes up two hundred pesos, two hundred pesos, and down two hundred pesos, and it's a, it goes from four four thousand two hundred to four thousand four hundred to four thousand five hundred to four thousand three hundred. It's just kind of bouncing around. It just it didn't get real crazy. It, it lost a bit of its value, but it didn't get didn't crater like everybody thought it was going to. And that's a that's just a really good thing because look at it this way. You know, I love living in Colombia. My money goes a long ways in Colombia. If I had to get a job in Colombia, that'd be a whole different ballgame. But uh, hopefully I don't ever have to do that. And where else? Where else will your money go that far? So I don't want to see anything heinous happen to Colombia. I want to live there till they bring me back in a box or a bag or a thermos I don't know whatever it doesn't matter at that juncture I don't, it doesn't even matter if they bring me back God bless America uh, and if the whole world goes to hell where's one of the last places it's going to go to hell at Colombia so um, my buddy in, in Armenia <laughs> reminded me of that today he says it doesn't matter what you know, what China's doing, what Russia's doing, what anybody's doing. Uh, Colombia will probably be the last to have any major craziness go go on. And that's the good news. So the good news is the housing market's stable in Colombia. Gasoline prices are stable in Colombia. The price of eggs are stable in Colombia. The price of coffee is stable in Colombia. And yeah, you got fluctuations up and down just like just like anything. But you don't see runaway anything in Colombia. It's they're still holding the line. And that is the hope that I have for this for this wonderful country. And um, so that's my report for today is that Colombia is alive and well and hiding in Colombia. And uh, there's a few of us old, old guys that uh, really enjoy living there and really enjoy the culture and really enjoy being old er than dirt in a place that you still get a little respect. Actually, in Columbia, you get a hell of a lot of respect. They respect us old farts. They know we've been through it. And... Uh, it's a really wonderful thing. I'll give you a little story before I go that this uh, this older gentleman, about 80 years old, was trying to cross the street in Bogota, and nobody was nobody was having it. They weren't letting him. They weren't letting him across. And he was, you know, he wasn't the spryest guy in the world. And this young lady stopped her car in the middle of the intersection, got out, and helped that old man across the street risking her life to help the old guy get across the street. There's still hope for humanity. We just got to quit fighting, guys. Remember, today is the first day of the rest of your life. If nothing changes, nothing's going to change. So, I continue to continue to get better. And uh, I'm going to have to sign off right now. But I will see you on the flip side. Thank you. God bless.